command staff puts too much emphasis on arrest and traffic citation numbers. Officers, he says, should also be judged on positive feedback and their ability to connect with the community. FOP Lodge 35 leadership now plans to meet with Montgomery County Executive Mark Elrich to discuss these ideas. Well, I think at the end of the day, officers must still be given the tools necessary to protect the public and themselves. Um, we can't lose sight of that. And uh, we must still be able to defend life and property, which is the, the job of a police officer. And the FOP also notes that on average, it takes a Montgomery County cop about two hours to arrest a suspect, drive them to the jail off I-270 in Rockville, and then file all of the necessary paperwork. A criminal citation, on the other hand, would get cops back on the street sooner. We are live in Silver Spring. I'm Kevin Lewis, ABC 7 News. Kevin, thank you. Tonight, we're also tracking the protests that continue throughout the district. One son, thing to please. keep in mind as you look at this live picture of one Don't of those protests right mouth. now and a speaker there. One thing to keep in mind is that the while there is no curfew, the, the mayor has Don't declared a heat emergency. Three Talk people, including a police table. officer, were treated for Put heat illness up. yesterday. Today, Walk community the shelters the are open for cooling down. Masks and social distancing are required for those shelters. Yeah, it was really a record-breaking day yesterday and some dangerous heat. We really have to pay attention to that, but also some changes on the way, right, Steve? Yeah, absolutely. And should note that a uh, heat emergency for the district is different than a heat advisory. Uh, that's issued by the National Weather Service, and uh, we do not have one of those for the metro area. We do have, though, some thunderstorms that are rolling on through, and these storms are packing a little bit of a punch. Look at Hagerstown for you. Lots of rain on the lens for you, and thankfully, their warning is now expired. Overlooking the tidal basin in the district, clouds are beginning to overspread the area, and with these clouds, we're likely to see a few thunderstorms moving Move across the DMV as we head through the 8, 9 o'clock hour tonight. Here's where we have the severe thunderstorm watch. It does include the district, all the areas inside and close to it, including Prince George's and Montgomery County, along with Fairfax and Loudoun and Prince William. This is until 10 o'clock tonight. And we also have some severe thunderstorm warnings that are embedded within the watch area. The good news, some of these warnings have now come and gone and many have expired, but we still have a few active warnings that remain across the area. Here Here's what it looks like along the Pennsylvania-Maryland border. All the storms are moving generally to the northeast at around 30 to 35 miles per hour. Do want to show you the latest warning for you here. It does include Madison, Page, Rappahannock, and Warren counties. This is until 6.30, and it's going to move out of that box, that warning box, I would say within the next 10 minutes or so, when that warning is set to expire. Now, the warnings that we had over toward Hagerstown and Hancock, those have now moved on off into Pennsylvania, but a new one for the Cumberland area in includes Allegheny and Mineral Counties. That is until 645 this evening for gusty winds and heavy downpours. Temperatures are slowly falling. We're down two degrees from last hour at Reagan National, thanks to the cloud cover, now at 89 degrees. But where we've had the heavy rain and the thunderstorms, we've dropped down to the 70s. 73 in Hagerstown, 79 at Winchester, 70 in Luray. It's going to be really soupy tonight, especially the areas that saw the heavier rain. Feels like temperatures are in the lower 90s. Uh, evening forecast calls for temperatures that will be eventually, or I should say, will eventually fall through the 80s into the 70s. And moving into our future cast, showers and thunderstorms will become fewer and fewer as we head through the late night hours with a few lingering showers late tonight. 68 to 75 degrees for your wake up temperatures tomorrow. Similar to we had earlier this morning, it's going to feel soupy and a little bit sloppy out there. Highs tomorrow will make it into the upper 80s to near 90. The weekend looks like this 90 on Saturday, 80 on Sunday. And after that, looking really good on Monday, low humidity. Highs will be in the lower 80s, back to the middle 80s Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. And now, the Toyota Sports Desk, brought to you by your local Toyota dealers. My friends, we have some progress. Starting tomorrow, NFL coaches will be allowed to return to team facilities. For the Redskins, this means head coach Ron Rivera can say goodbye to the basement of his house and go back to his office in Ashburn. Worth noting, though, players not seeking treatment for injuries are still barred from working out at Redskins Park.